Kamala Harris says President Donald Trump is trying to jam his Supreme Court pick to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. Now, Harris is in Raleigh today for her first in-person campaign event in North Carolina since Joe Biden chose her as his running mate. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh. And Michael, she laid out why she's opposing Judge Amy Coney Barrett for the Supreme Court. And right now, she's wrapping up a Q&A with some voters behind me at White's Barber Shop and Beauty Salon. Among other things, she said she would support a civil rights investigation into Breonna Taylor's death. But before coming here, she stopped at Shaw University just two days after President Trump made his Supreme Court pick official. She came here saying what the president is trying to do is, in her words, offensive. With no crowd of supporters, Senator Kamala Harris came to Raleigh Monday to make the case for holding off on replacing former Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. President Trump and his party have made it clear they will pick a justice who will get rid of the Affordable Care Act. President Trump made it official over the weekend, nominating Judge Amy Coney Barrett to replace Ginsburg, potentially cementing a conservative majority on the court for years. The justices will consider a case involving the Affordable Care Act one week after the election. Harris said overturning it would take away protections for those with pre-existing conditions. Vote as if your life, your choice depends on it because it does. The speech comes ahead of hearings in the Senate on Barrett's nomination. State Republican Party Chairman Michael Watley went to law school with Barrett. Even though Republicans blocked President Obama's Supreme Court nominee in 2016, he argued voters gave Republicans a mandate to move forward with President Trump's pick. I will certainly hope uh, that the Senate Democrats will not try to destroy Judge Barrett uh, in this hearing. Meredith College political analyst David McLennan released a new poll Monday on the presidential race in North Carolina. He found Biden leading Trump by just three-tenths of a point, a statistical tie. All the recent events like Barrett's nomination or the story about Trump's taxes, I'm not sure that's increasing intensity even any further. I think it's already there. And happening right now, Senator Harris just walked out of the event and is greeting some of her supporters who are standing outside here who didn't get too close to the event itself but had a chance to kind of see what was going on from a distance. As of today, the state says nearly a quarter million North Carolinians have already sent their ballots back in, and those ballots have already been accepted. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.